Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm down at Goodwood Motor Circuit. There's a track day running at the moment, so there's a bit of noise in the background. And today I'm gonna to be taking this BMW M140i out onto the Goodwood skid pan, and I'm gonna run through the three different traction control settings on the car and their effects on the skid pan. Let's go and have a bit of fun. I mean, a serious scientific experiment. Right, here we are. So the idea is I'm gonna do several passes on the skid pan. I'm going to, the steering input's going to be the same, the speed's going to be the same, and the throttle input's going to be the same, but the traction control mode is going to be different every time. So this first time we've got everything on, which is how it would be when you first start the car up. Come onto the pan, full throttle, and then you can see all the traction control systems have all come in, started grabbing the brakes on all the different wheels, and it's kept me pointing in a straight line, which is exactly what it should do. Obviously, it's exaggerated on the skid pan, so the back did come out a tiny little bit, whereas obviously if you had loads of grip on the road, it probably wouldn't do that. Now what we're gonna do is press the button once, and we're gonna go into halfway mode. So this is like a MDM mode or like a traction mode, and this is gonna be like a halfway mode. So this is gonna give me a little bit more slip. And to start with, I'm not gonna try and catch the slide. Let's see what happens. So full throttle. So there you go. So we still rotated without, without catching the slide. So that was full throttle and I didn't try and correct it and we spun. So now what I'm gonna do, same again, same amount of throttle, but I am gonna try and correct it and we'll see what happens. I come on the pan, same speed, steering inputs the same, full throttle and I'm gonna correct it. And I can actually hold that in a slide and that's full throttle in halfway mode. So if you're feeling like a bit of a hero on a track day, obviously not on a public road, closed private road. So now the final mode, hold the button down, everything off, it's come up with loads of warnings, everything's off. So now I'm gonna do the same again, same speed, same throttle input, and we'll see what happens. So I come on the pan, full throttle, and I'm, and I'm gonna try and catch the slide and we've done a 360 and we're probably backwards in a hedge somewhere. So that's, I've still tried to catch it. That's with no traction control on at all. And you can see the massive difference. Revs obviously went through the roof. I still tried to catch the slide and uh, yeah, it was game over. Now we've got all the traction control still turned off and we've worked out how slippery it is. Just gonna give it a quick blast to get the back end out and we're gonna hold it in a slide, hopefully for the full length for the skid pan. Let's see how we get on. Last, catch the slide, just feathering the throttle, hold it in a nice slide, and straighten it up before we run out of slippery paint. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. Oh, it's good to be back on the skid pan, guys. Do one more while we're here, why not? This all sounds good as well, too, Reg. Lovely. So there you go, hopefully that's pointed out the very big differences between the three different driving modes. Obviously on the skid pan it's exaggerated because there's very low grip, but on the road, um, if the car is moving around a little bit, you might feel like there's not much difference between the MDM mode and the traction mode, but actually when it all goes wrong, the MDM mode or the traction mode is still really saving you, whereas with everything off, obviously you had the revs to go through the roof, and uh, yeah, we ended up going backwards, we ended up doing a 360 actually on the skid pan, and uh, yeah, on the road that'd be game over. So, yeah, warning, don't touch that traction control button unless you're on a closed private road or you know what you're doing. So while we're here, while we've got the skid pan, just to do a couple of little J-turns, well, because why not? Bit of speed up in reverse, lift off the gas, Chuck it in, into drive, away we go. <laughs> so good. Let's do another one. So in reverse again, a little bit of speed up in reverse. Off the gas, flip the wheel around, into drive, away you go. <laughs> Brilliant, love it. 
there we go guys i hope you enjoyed that video i certainly did because for me it was great to be back on the skid pad again after a year of no driving or event work but yeah that was such good fun uh, a couple of massive shout outs first of all to goodwood motor circuit for allowing us to come down and use their skid pan facility today if you want to learn some of what we've been doing today in some brand new bmws goodwood actually run a spin and slide experience i'll put a link in the description below go and do a spin and slide experience with them it's really good you'll learn drifting stunt driving j turns some of the stuff we've been doing today uh, and genuinely it's a really really good experience i think it's about 100 110 pounds and it's one to one for the best part of an hour so it's a really good value for money experience it's really really good also a massive shout out to my buddy reg he's let me drive his m140 i on the skid pan today and uh, also been helping me out with my filming and been a bit of a director of photography so massive shout out to reg make sure you go and follow him i'll put a link to his youtube channel in the description below i think also we might be doing a little video any minute as well for his channel so make sure you go and check that out i'll put a link to that in the description below as well massive thank you for watching guys and uh, i'll see you on the next one no i can't say that i'm gonna be taking oh messed it up man